Today, we're going to be targeting nearby smartphones and extracting the Wi-Fi password stored inside on this episode of Hackbyte. Every time you join a Wi-Fi network on a smartphone, it stores the password and the name of the network to a list of preferred or trusted Wi-Fi networks. Now, a hacker wanting to exploit this property of Wi-Fi could pop up a Wi-Fi network with the exact same name as the one stored inside your phone. And because your phone is incapable of telling the difference between a fake and real version of that network, it will try to connect with this password. The attack we're going to try today is called a half handshake attack because normally when a Wi-Fi device connects to a wireless network, it creates a four-way handshake. But in this example, we're going to be using only two in order to guess the password of the Wi-Fi network the person has connected to in the past. Now, in order to try this out, we'll need a wireless network adapter that's compatible with Kali Linux and a computer running Linux as well. Once we have this, then we can get started. To start out today, we're going to go to wiggle.net and do a little bit of open source intelligence in order to decide exactly what network we want to try to get the password from. Now, if we wanted to look up the name of, I don't know, maybe a business that has their business registered, we could look up and find out what the name of the network is for the office. Although in this case, I have simply looked for any network names in a particular area, in this case, New York, that are named Honeypot. So here I can find more specific information like the type of security of the network. And in this case, because I don't want to call any companies out specifically, we're just going to use this honeypot network. But you can imagine this to be, I don't know, maybe the Wi-Fi network of like a defense contractor or a government agency or someone who's really important. But honeypot is the example we'll use today. And this is the process you can use to look up the Wi-Fi network name of pretty much any office, school or business. Okay, so now that we know the name of this, what do we need to do in order to start monitoring and actually try to get the password to this network from somebody nearby who has it stored in their phone? All right, well, let's go over to my terminal window. And first, I'm going to run ifconfig. And we can see that I have two wireless cards here, WLAN 1 and WLAN 01. And WLAN 01 is already put into wireless monitor mode. So the command for that is sudo airmon ng and i'm going to actually stop wlan 0 mon that should put it back into normal mode and if i want to then put this into monitor mode again i can do start wlan 0 and we're back where we started so all right so we've now put one of the wireless cards into monitor mode and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to use my android smartphone to create a network called honeypot so let me go ahead and do that. And the first thing I'll need to do is identify exactly what channel this honeypot network is operating on. So on my phone, I've also set a really long random password for this honeypot network because I really don't care. I don't know the password and I really just want devices to recognize the name and connect. So I'll actually, I'll make this a uh, lower case as it was, except for the first character. Okay, so that's up. So now let's do uh, sudo arrow dump ng. And then we're going to put the name of the wireless card WLAN 0 mon. So as soon as this happens, then we should be able I'm going to stop that expand this rerun it. There we go. Now we can see names. And we can see there's a network called honeypot right here. So we can also see some information about it, such as the fact that it's operating on channel six. So that's what we are going to focus on for the rest of our investigation. We're going to be going after channel six uh, because that's where our fake network is being broadcast. Now you can imagine maybe you're in a coffee shop or something and you are going to be popping up this fake access point and listening for any devices nearby that are trying to connect. So let's go ahead and start listening for this half handshake. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to run sudo arrow dump. And some people might notice I, I don't, I'm already root. I don't need to sudo, but if you're not root, which you shouldn't be, then you will need to sudo. So sudo arrow, actually I'll just go up sudo arrow dump ng, but this time we're going to add dash C and then six. And that's because we're broadcasting on channel six. And that's really the only thing we should be listening for. I'm going to do an and symbol, and then I'm going to say Wireshark. So what this will do is it's going to start, um, 
setting it's going to set the wireless network card to channel six and it should open wireshark at the same time there we go it worked so let's go ahead and select wlan zero mon as the interface that we're listening on and i'm going to go ahead and open this all the way and we should be listening on channel six and what i want to see is i basically want this beacon right here so i want to see a beacon frame from the honeypot network so we need to write a wireshark filter right now and this wireshark filter is going to allow us to only see traffic going to or from this network so let's go ahead and pick the transmitter address we can also pick the source address these are almost always the same right mouse click and click on apply as filter selected then I'm going to copy this. So this is everything transmitting from this device, but we actually want to see everything that is being received by it as well. So we're going to add two pipe symbols. I'm going to paste this again so we have it spelled out. And then I'm going to put DA. So it should be destination and uh, transmitter. So this should show us everything to and from this particular wireless device. All right, so now that we've written our filter, I'm going to press this to follow along with the stream. And now, Let's say that I'm a device that's connected before. I'm gonna go and I'm going to disconnect from the network I'm on right now, and I'm going to actually simulate what would happen uh, if I were a device that had connected. So I would have that stored somewhere in my phone's memory. Let's say it's password one, two, three. We'll make that of uh, the, the name of our office Wi-Fi. And normally this would be an automatic process, but I want you guys to see that you know I'm using an insecure password. And, and again, on a, a typical example, the smart device would automatically connect because it already has this information saved. So it's gonna connect, and then we should see some ePoll packets. So I'm gonna copy this right now. I'm gonna cut it actually, oops. And I'll cancel that because it's not gonna be able to connect because we don't know the, it's not the real network. So I'm gonna cut this and type ePoll. And ePoll is basically handshake. So looking here, I can see we actually have a message one of four, message two of four. Since this is a four-way handshake and we're only looking to do a half handshake attack, this is actually everything we need. We can see that this device actually attempted to connect a number of times. So we should be good. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to do ePoll and and, and then I'm gonna paste my old filter. And the reason I'm going to do this is because in order for me to actually crack this, I'm gonna press stop because I have all the information I need. In order for me to crack this, I need to have a, at least one beacon frame with the name of the network along with the ePoll frame. So if I just save the handshake, but I didn't save any beacon frames, then that actually wouldn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and see, I think it's export specified packets. Um, oh, actually, no, I guess I can, well, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna save this as half handshake hack bite. A little long, but I just wanna make sure that, you know, we get it right. So we're gonna just pick the displayed packets uh, based on our filters, and uh, we're gonna make sure that this is saved as a PCAP file. So let's go ahead and save this. All right, so we're gonna go back to our terminal window and we can probably, hopefully, press Control C now, and that will close Wireshark and stop the capture and all that. <clears throat> so now we're going to do aircrack ng. We will need a uh, password list. So I thankfully have a password list right here, um, which is the Rock U password list, very popular. Um, and next, after this, let's make sure. Oh. I'm actually going to make sure this is properly spaced. Don't want them running into each other. Uh, we need to put our capture last. So this means the capture we just saved, it should be pretty long. There we go. Half handshake, hack bite, or whatever I saved it as. And then we can just press enter. So this command is aircrackng-w, the name of the password list that we're using to crack, and then the capture that we just saved as a PCAP file. Oh, that was it. Okay, well, that didn't take very long at all. Because there was only one network there, it didn't even ask us to specify which one we wanted, and we were able to figure out that this was the password that the device was trying to connect to our fake network with. Now, remember, we're just creating a hotspot on our Android phone, and yet nearby devices are trying to connect and giving up the passwords that are stored inside them. Now, again, we just did this manually, so normally the smart device would already have this, but I wanted you to see that, hey, this is the password that I attempted to connect with. So if anybody else was doing the same, then we would be able to figure out what that password to that Wi-Fi network is.
Using the half handshake attack and a little bit of open source intelligence, it's easy to try to unearth the password of a Wi-Fi network that you are nowhere near, only because there's a smartphone nearby which is connected to it in the past. Now, if I wanted to target a particular type of employee or somebody who works at a certain business, I could just look up the address where they work, look at the name of their Wi-Fi network, create a fake one, and wait in a spot that is very likely to have one of their employees show up. Now, there is one disadvantage to this attack, and it's because it's a half handshake. Since we don't have the other half of the handshake, we actually cannot verify that this is the correct password. So it could actually be some random person who sees that Wi-Fi network, wants to connect, and puts in a gibberish password, rather than someone who's connected before and whose phone is automatically trying to reconnect. Now, while that is a limitation, it's still pretty crazy that you can extract bad passwords from people's smart devices. So if you have a bad password on your home Wi-Fi network or your work Wi-Fi network, make sure to let them know that anybody out and about might be able to extract that. That's all we have for this episode of Hackbyte. Make sure to watch our other episodes, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.